What do you think, man? Should we? I mean, we've never, we've never done it live before, but I don't, I don't we, know. If like, we, should we do like a cold open? I just think it, I don't know if it works show. live because the whole thing is that you usually like trick me into doing a cold open. Right. So. I often record, start recording, don't tell you. Which but, you can't do because I'm watching you. Or we. That's true. But yeah. What if we did like a like just like an, a, like a fun like SNL thing or like, something? Like we say live from New York. Or? Yeah. Is that dumb? Is that happening? I think it's like a little too cheesy. <laughs> Live from New York, it's, it's Gilmore Guys! <laughs> it's Gilmore Guys Live! With Kevin T. Porter! <laughs> Demi Adichuibe! Uh, Kevin T. Porter. <laughs> Jimmy, I did you weep, hey? Kevin, uh, Kevin T. Porter. <laughs> Jimmy, I did you weep, hey? Uh, Kevin T. Porter. Oh, Demi, did you weep, <laughs> Musical guest, Hooba Stank. <laughs> and your host, the Gilmore Guys. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Gilmore Guys. We should probably get on mic. It's a podcast. Yes. <laughs> Welcome to Gilmore Guys. I'm Kevin. I'm Jimmy. And we're the, the Gilmore, Gilmore Guys. guys. <laughs> Welcome to our show. Welcome. It's, it's been waiting for you. Uh, I mean, what's the vibe right now? I feel chilled out as I'm pretty, hell. Yeah, I'm pretty chill. I could, I could go for a nap. We were stressed out. Please don't. Uh, the amount of times that Demi, this is no bit zone. The amount of times that Demi has fallen asleep while recording the podcast would shock you. It's more than zero. It's more than two. <laughs> where I look over to Mike too, and he's kind of not. Is that is, that is it really more than two? I think so. There uh -oh. was yeah, there was more than two. I should talk to a doctor. <laughs> oh boy, but we're so happy to see all of you tonight. Who has seen this show, Gilmore Guys Live, for the first time? <laughs> That's good. I yeah. think that's half or more than half. That's good. It's at least some. I like it. It's at least some. Who has seen all three shows this week? That's, you guys okay, are crazy, but thank yeah, you. Thank you. Sorry, because this, one, this one's going to be like... <laughs> you don't even know what episode we're doing. Because we're not doing an episode, baby. It's a trick question. I know. We made everyone buy a ticket. Well, we didn't make anyone buy a ticket, but we... <laughs> We, we came to your houses under the guise of nine said by a ticket. <laughs> the Gilmore guys of nine. And we advertised the show and plugged it. And we're sa all we said was, we're not covering a specific episode. <laughs> That's all we said. We didn't say, but we are doing this thing. And truth be told, we didn't know what we were doing until this week. <laughs> no, we were just like, uh, it's a bummer that some people won't be able to go to the Bell House show because it's 21 plus. We wanted to do something that everyone had a chance to go to. We wanted to do something for the fans. For the because fans. Because... It's all about the fans, guys. Oh, it's Kevin. all about the fans. What? I'm no, not I said, wrong. oh, Kevin. I said, oh, Kevin. Okay. Like, yeah, yeah. Like affirming me? Like, yes. oh, Kevin. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Kevin. Great, 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 great. Okay. Uh, well, I mean, let's warm up the audience. Let's get to know everybody. Does anyone have any questions for me or Demi on like a personal level or a podcast level? Someone's got a question over here. Okay. Hello, what is your name? Hi, my name's Adina. Hello, Adina. What is your question? Well, now that you've been to New York, have you seen a musical? <laughs> no. The answer is no. No. We should go see, like, Book of Mormon together or something. Book of Mormon or Hedwig. Yeah. Head Hedwig. Or, or Beautiful. Be beautiful? What's that about? I've never heard of it. I don't, I don't know that? who that is. I'm sorry. <laughs> the King of Carol? Carol King. <laughs> yeah, the King Tell of Carol. The King Carol of Comedy? <laughs> yeah. It's like the king of comedy, but Steve just the, Harvey he's doing just the 30, king of Carol. 30 minutes of Carol King material. 
You know when you feel the earth move under your feet? Now the they sky's say, tumbling down. Where you lead, I'm gonna follow. <laughs> Just that for an hour. Oh boy, the answer is no. Demi has still not seen nope. a music. Sorry, I'm lacking. I'm gonna try to before I. Did uh, you say I'm blacking? I'm lacking. What? I heard I'm black. Sorry, guys. What I heard does I'm that mean? No, I don't I'm, know. That's I'm what I was gonna lacking. ask you. I'm lacking. I'm trying okay. to. Yes. On what channel is that even on? ABC. ABC. Well, go watch we know Blackish, drama. everybody. Uh, Any I'm other questions from anybody? We got one over here from a male. I love it. You hey, got man. mail. Uh, hey, Demi, where'd you get your shirt? This shirt? Uh, as a, a big One Direction fan, uh, where my 1D head's at. Okay, well now I gotta admit that I lied, so don't quiz me <laughs> on One Direction. I don't know a thing, I'm sorry. D-heads uh, sounds weird, by the way. D-heads, where are my D-heads at? D-heads. I can name Chill all out. of them. John, Paul, George, Ringo, Zane. Harpo. Um, Groucho <laughs> and Ann B. Davis is Alice. Right. Um, uh, I just found it on Tumblr. I saw someone post something like this on Tumblr and everyone was going crazy. And they're like, I'm going to sell these eventually. And when they did, I was like, I'm going to buy one because I want Black Flag Matt fans to get really mad at me. And they do. That really started quite a thing on social media for anyone who follows us on social media because there was a lot of questions. A lot about of the questions shirt? About the shirt. Mm -hmm. wow. And now they've been answered. Okay, great. Any, any uh, one more question, make it amazing. Uh, don't be disappointing. If this is disappointing, this, this podcast is ruined. Go ahead. Did you guys know that it is Men's f -f -f Fashion Week? Oh, we know. Oh. <laughs> Men's Fashion with a passion. Get some cash in. Uh, we, no, didn't, we didn't, but how that. fitting for us to be here. I wish we had some models to come out and... <laughs> Model the fashions of the show for well, us. Well, uh, one thing we do want to model is uh, for the listeners at home, we're both wearing pins made by the lovely Paige Fernberg, who also made this graphic. Yeah. And we want to give a big stars holla out to her. I'm wearing a Team Emily pin. And I'm wearing Team Paris. Yeah. Hell yeah. Show your pride. The, should we do the poll we always do? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> who here's Team Jess? Okay, okay. Who here is Team Dean? Yeah! That's a unanimous. For the listeners at home, that silence you heard was us cutting it because it got too loud. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Some of that crazy <laughs> Team Logan. <laughs> Team Penelin Lot. You guys are awful. She's no. my almost mommy. Oh, God. Team what? Team Shell. Team Shell. Shell, 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 Shell. 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 No one knows who Shell is. It's fine. Oh, boy. I mean, we have a... You, you know what's shocking is we actually have a lot to do tonight. We do. It is kind of shocking that we have a lot to do, but we do, and so we're going to get to it. One thing, and this is something we want to have everyone experience together because, as you all know, the great Lorelai Trix Gilmore passed away just a few episodes ago from yes. where we are in our run. <laughs> and so we wanted to honor her in some fashion, in some f, -f, -f fashion, because this show is so much about dealing with death and gripping with your own mortality. That's what Gilmore Girls is all about, is death. It's like I six feet under for the WB. I think we can all agree to that. So we're going to play... Something that we made just in honor of our long lost beloved tricks. So, if you would please uh, observe this as a moment of silence. Yeah. If anyone laughs, don't. That's very rude. That's good grammar. Mom, look who's here. Who? Well, look. If I wanted to look, I would look. I haven't looked, therefore, you must draw your own conclusions. It's been a long Without you, my friend. Please stop laughing. And I'll tell you all about it. You rented your house to corn. That's so cool. They were fine tenants, took wonderful care of the place. They planted some lovely tulips in the front yard. I have no desire to spend an entire day with plants. Emily, I'm not a bee. My mother is a very special woman, isn't she? You talk about me like I'm dead. Oh, you're never going to die. You're too stubborn. <laughs> Yeah. 
crush you both. Go out your way in the vibe. It's feeling strong and with small turn to a friendship. So we just wanted to pay tribute to the lovely tricks, Lorelai Gilmore. With an artist we know she would have loved. Oh, she would have been. <laughs> with Khalifa, he loved uh, Daisy. He grew so. the most lovely gardenias. <laughs> Wiz, okay, now I'm gonna put another image on the screen. It's gonna seem weird at first, but hear me out. Hear me out. So this is an issue oh, of Cosmopolitan. This is with Emily Ratatatatouille on the cover. <laughs> Ratatatouille. And uh, yeah, this is all not Photoshop, super real. I want everyone to stare at this magazine until they feel that I am vindicated. I want everyone to look very closely <laughs> because if you'll look on your screens or your projectors, you'll see if that you there is a headline that says, a little to the left, dot, dot, oh dot, God. make him better in bed. Ugh. How do we know this didn't come out after your episode? Because there's a date, uh, November 2014. Boom, mm, boom, 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 boom. I don't know. No? Nope, I'm firmly in the uh, not a sexual comment, Mark. Okay, well, wait, who here thinks it was a sexual comment? <laughs> who no, here no, no, is I on... I don't want to do that, I don't want to do that poll. I don't want to do the opposite. <laughs> who I, here I, is I... on the right side? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, man, well, anyway, I feel better about myself. Let's scroll a little to the right. A list of... <laughs> hashtag a little to the right, is that the trending tag? Yeah. I mean, we are just dicking around now. We're just like showing photos and videos. I'm about to put up some uh, pictures from my Christmas vacation if you guys are into that. Well, we did want to do, I mean, this is emblematic of what we want to do. This is our chill out, bro down, ho down, hang time show. It's a Stars Hollow Town meeting. What are you doing? Just bro down, chilling out. It's a Stars Hollow Town meeting. So we wanted to make it a really special experience for everybody. You know how you chill. Yeah. Guys, I just saw Magic Mike. I can't stop thinking about it or talking about it. It changed my life. It made me better. This is like the third show in a row I've talked about it. I need to stop. Um, but one thing that we discovered along the way, we were going through the vault, and we discovered a few things uh, in the acting career of Milo Ventimiglia. <laughs> Big stars haul out to him. Yep and his leather jacket, which he still yep. owns, and was very eager to tell us yep. <laughs> about. And we wanted to, on, on the shows on Monday, we discovered his first role on The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. We all watched it together. He played Will. He played Will Smith. <laughs> they had to recast the pilot. It was super weird. It was, not, it was not good, guys. It was bad casting. But then that sent me down a rabbit hole of my love and... Acting resume, his reel. And here's a little gem I found on YouTube that I think we all need to watch. I think we all need to talk about. So let's go ahead and watch that now. And Mr. Schaefer, would you prefer window or aisle? Middle. Middle? <laughs> Why does he want the middle? <laughs> so he's taking his laptop out. Look at the screen. What movie is he working on? That's my girlfriend and her dog. The woman's not asking him. <laughs> this is such a jest move. Of him what the pool. hell, man? And look, look at all the space he's taking up. You like those guys? Oh, what song? So, the, what we're supposed to gain from this ad is Apple. It, it makes you very rude. Yeah, it makes you take the middle seat like a weirdo and then take up everybody's trays and then edit softcore porn and lie to everybody and tell yeah, everybody like this. it's your girlfriend. Baha Men, it's my girl's favorite band. <laughs> yeah, wait, was the song the soundtrack for that movie? So it's that girl like just looking at the camera and going, who let the dog I out? guess. Oh, there was a dog. Oh, well, now the whole thing makes sense. <laughs> that, was, that was the key that unlocked the code. 
of that promo. And speaking of promos, promo. guys, I think we do need to go into the vault and take a look at the way WB, the Warner Brothers Network, marketed this show in the early aughts. So we have assembled a hodgepodge of promos that we can all come together and watch. Big stars holla out to Lauren, who gave the, all these to Thank us on so Twitter. Much. Because it is a treasure trove. It's something we wish we had from the very beginning. and Because now we're like, oh, here's another one. So this is for episode 105, I believe. So let's go ahead and, and take a look at that. Before you watch Charmed, it's an all new Gilmore Girls. <laughs> Goodbye, Laura, like Gilmore. Uh, Goodbye, Laura, like Gilmore. Telling your mom about Listen your love music. life is tough. Do you know her? No. No. <laughs> but finding out about her love life can be even tougher. He's my teacher. When were you planning on telling me? On your wedding day? No, by the rehearsal dinner at least. Mom. And all new we Gilmore in. Girls. Hey, we jumpin'. Bippity bippity be the Gilmore Girls on a carnival cruise. <laughs> Why? The music, there's that, there's the Zydeco music. <laughs> I just, all... I just imagine Amy Sherman Pelletino you know, has like a lot of friends who are trying to break into the biz, the music biz. Fine. No, I... Okay, bring the Calypso drums. <laughs> and let's take a look at a little promo from episode 202, shall we? It ain't easy. Why are you acting like, like you're two? Being a boy in a Gilmore Girls world. What is that? A hammer. Max has asked me to marry him. You do know his last name, don't you? You dressed up a hammer? My mother did. You're wearing a newspaper on your head. She's not insane, she just sounds it. The season premiere of Gilmore Girls. All you need is like a Tim Allen. I had the music. Cho- Who was that friend of Amy's that needed to break in? It's like a circus clown. <laughs> I'm building my own soundtracks. <laughs> uh, and then finally, let's look at this from episode 316, 316. On the WB's new Tuesday, they've shared everything through the years. Nothing's happened yet, but it might. Let's go somewhere. But the most important conversation a daughter could have... What? Talk. ...is not shared with her mother. It was just time. An all-new Gilmore Girls on the WB's new Tuesday. They the most lied to missed. us! The WB lied and misled their audiences! Now, when I log into the WB, I want to see some teenage sex. <laughs> but they lied to me. How dare you? Ugh. You think there's some weird pervy dude that's like, all right, I'm, I'm watching that's it That's definitely tonight. what it was for. They were like, oh, Gilmore Girls, today, the girl, the child is going to do it. <laughs> that's my impression of a, a pervert. He has really like, shaky shoulders. <laughs> I'm a pervert. <laughs> like the... Uh, I mean, uh, marketing, blah, blah, blah. That's a tale as old as time that they're deceptive. But this is like, it was, and I've edited stuff before. I've edited stuff for this show. And it is like difficult to make it, make Roy say, it was just time. <laughs> that was probably just like a second take. They're like, all right, we're going to lie to our audience. We need you to just <laughs> okay, say Okay, we need the time. sexed up WB promo take now. Can you give it to God. us, Alexis? And then I think the last thing we want to pull out from the video vault is... Just in the, on the subject of marketing and the things that the WB probably pressured its young stars to do at the time. Stay with pop boys. <laughs> so here's the conversation. Here's the conversation. Hey, Alexis, Jared. Yeah. Milo. Yeah. <laughs> You're all three of them? Yeah. Okay, great. Sorry, I answered a little bit later. I'm Milo. <laughs> so uh, there's an award show coming up. Do you mind presenting at it together, like the three of you? Sure. Okay, okay, great. Yeah, whatever. Well, I'm, you know what? We're going to let you write your own ad copy. Your own copy. Don't, don't use uh, freaking what's his Bruce Valanche's jokes. Just do your own stuff. I'm going to freestyle. I've got, a, I've got a bit I'm trying out. Okay, great. Well, I hope it's great, Milo. Let's hear it and see it right now. From the Gilmore Girls, please welcome Alexis Bladell, Jared Padalecki. That's the guy who wrote the Milo music for the promo. <laughs> Hey, it's, uh, it's time to look, it's time for a look at the year's scariest moments in reality TV. Because we all know reality shows love to mess with the deepest fears of their contestants. Yeah, even before I came on stage tonight, the producers asked me what my biggest fear was. Damn, they did, wouldn't they? Yeah. They asked me too, they asked me that too. What do you guys tell them? 
Well, Alexis is I mean, committed. I'm kind of freaked out by fire, you know? That's my fear. Fire. That's, that's, oh, you that's both said fear. fire. Oh, do the, produ the producers knew this? Yeah. Yeah. There are like teenage girls standing closer to the fire they than They lit any teenage of girls on fire for that bit, guys. Milo requested People got hurt because of that. And the winner for Choice TV Reality Scariest Moment is Ruben making the bottom two on American Idol. Let's take a look. <laughs> uh, what? Wait! That's the scariest moment in reality TV. And he was passionate about that too. For listener, I mean, he was just Ruben making the bottom two on American Idol. Do you think Idol. listeners at home were like, oh, Clay's, got, Clay's gonna be second for sure? It's Which, Ruben. <laughs> Which, by the way, by the time this came out, he had probably won... Oh, anyway. Ruben Sutter's doing just fine. By the way, they were all operating at a 10 in that clip. I think it's very... Someone in the audience just asked, where is Ruben? <laughs> and he's here! He's <laughs> fine! He's a gilly! <laughs> Ruben's kicking. Clay Aiken's actually running for, like, senator in Georgia or something. That's true. No, I, That's think not... I think he lost. I think oh, he lost, really? Right? Yo. Uh, everyone's into... Everyone... <laughs> The crossover between Gilmore Girls fans and people investing in Clay Aiken's political career is a perfect circle. Yeah. <laughs> claymates and gillies are like this. How do I know that the term is claymates? I don't know. <laughs> um, we do have something planned for tonight. Right. It's not just showing random YouTube clips. I, yes. YouTube. Like a party that's going bad. <laughs> like, we're, we're done uh, with the YouTube clips. Thank you so much for bearing <laughs> with us Yeah. through that. That's been the video portion. Yay. Um, <laughs> wait, we, what did we have planned? <laughs> I thought you had something. I thought you had no. something. No. Um, JK Rowling. Okay, we got something. Yeah. Well, actually, one thing we did want to talk about is that we, and it's nothing's confirmed yet, right. but... This is... Totally, like, just hush hush. Yeah, and this is for this is for the first one. Yeah, but we do have a script for the real finale of Gilmore Girls. Yeah, we do. We Which, we uh, may Amy. have wrote it ourselves, <laughs> but we do have it. However, Amy Sherman read it and said, "I guess this is a script." <laughs> so. Yeah, and she said, "I'm from New York. Look at my hat." I believe those were her exact words. Yeah. And so this script is titled The End. And this is actually, I mean, you know, I, I, put, I only put my name on it, even though we both took a pass at right. it. Right. So. Yeah, because we kind of function like Amy and Daniel do together. Like some, you know, we finish each other's scripts. Am I Daniel or? Scripts. Okay, so the, the rest of them function more like Daniel than I do. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, so this is, we're going to read a script, so everyone get ready, because I'm fairly certain we're going to see this on Netflix in the next few decades Again, or so. Again, okay. hush, hush. Don't hush, go tell the world about don't this. Don't tweet this. Please don't Instagram this. Because we're still trying to sell this to the networks. If you Instagram, because that your... affects us and our careers. Right. And that, you know, so. We're just two please, young boys trying to make it in this crazy please, world. And not to, not to get Patty Pallone on it. Patty Pallone. <laughs> Patty Pallone? Who's Patty Pallone? Patty Lupone? I don't know, but I want to meet her. Patty Lupone on your asses, but put your, just burn put your yourself on. Put your phones on. away. Yeah, just throw them in the trash. This can't get leaked. So this script is called The End. I think it's an apt title. This is probably, honestly, I think this is, it's the only way we could have done this. So. This is the greatest gonna... thing we've done on this podcast so far, guys. <laughs> I think there's no way any of you are going to be disappointed. Okay. Exterior, Stars Hollow. Oh, and by the way, we're all gonna be playing multiple characters. So we'll do voices. You'll get it. Usually at the beginning of script reads, they say the vo the role of Jess will be played by Kevin Porter, but we're right. not gonna do that. You'll figure it out. It's fine. You're gonna love this. You're gonna exterior. The hell up. Exterior, <laughs> Stars Hollow, Town Center, Day. We fade up on Rory and Jess sitting in a gazebo, reading all sorts of deep books and shit. <laughs> Rory, isn't it great how much we've grown while we've been apart? How we weren't right at all for each other when we were dating, but now we're great, fully developed people who should never date or fall in love again. Yes. 
Dean walks up to the gazebo, clutching a salad spinner, and weeping. I'm gonna kill you, Jess. Dean struggles to get his words out through the tears. Get away from her, idiot. Jess smirks at Dean. He knows he's not worth his time anymore. Go home to your wife. I, I have no wife. All I have is this salad spinner. Dean, what do you think of that banjo player over there? Dean looks over at the banjo player. Nice picking. Dean, what do you use to do your taxes? Dean thinks for a moment. Nice quicken. <laughs> Jess, do you have any debt? Jess scoffs and turns to Rory. In loans. <laughs> Dean, what's that one pagan religion that celebrates witchcraft? A light bulb appears above Dean's head. Oh, nice wiccan. We cut to 15 minutes later. Jess, what's your favorite- Rory, stop, just stop. I still love you. Rory pauses. Dean pauses. Jess stares at Rory, breathing heavily. The gazebo is silent with tension. Uh, have you seen my car? I need to leave immediately. <laughs> no, I love her, you idiot. No, I love her. No, I love her. Wait, Marty? Wayne Wilcox, everybody! Marty! Hey. Okay, I'm done. I'm good. <laughs> Thank you. Marty makes a dramatic entrance through the gazebo arch. In slow motion, 12 doves fly behind him. Cool music is playing. He's super jacked. Clearly, he's been working out. He's very strong and very cool. Rory, what the fuck are you doing dicking around with these zeros? All right, because Marty would say that. Come on, baby. Let's get this Marty started. Marty karate kicks Dean and Jess both in the mouth at the same time, leaving them bleeding on the ground. Rory's jaw unhinges for the first time, hangs wide open for a brief moment. Wow, this is something straight out of Peyton Place. I understand that television reference. We all do. It's a show we're all very familiar with. Rory, you know it's true. I'm the only real man for you in this town. Oh, Marty. Kiss me, kiss me like there's no tomorrow. They kiss, it's super hot. The gazebo literally so catches hot. on fire because of it. The camera pans over to Luke's diner. Interior, Luke, stay. Lorelai enters. Luke? Damn it, Lorelai, what is it? <laughs> I just wanted to say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything that's gone wrong between us. I'm sorry for acting like an entitled brat, like I'm the queen of this town and I own everything and everyone. I'm sorry for only acting in my best interest and not considering yours or really anyone else's. I'm sorry for the literal thousands of dollars I've cost your business by assuming that everything was free because I'm pretty. Lorelai, it's... No, just shut up for a second. I treated you so poorly, Luke. I treated you like a thing instead of the warm and wonderful man that you are. Don't you see, Luke? You're my dog. You're just this loyal, loving creature that's never strayed from my heart. And I throw a bone to you, and you give it back to me. And you play fetch for me all the time with coffee and pastries and other stuff, but I never gain weight. Oh, no, 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 no. The queen of this town will never. And I'm here to make it right. And I'm here to say, I'm so deeply sorry. Do you really mean that? No, I was just joking. I want some coffee. <laughs> nice. That's so quirky and endearing of you. That's why you love me. Let's get married. Okay, interior, wedding reception. <laughs> Luke and Lorelai are a gorgeous bride and groom sitting at their wedding party table. Luke sips from his glass of champagne. Lorelai sips from her glass. 
of coffee. <laughs> it finally happened. June 3rd, 2026. Just like we always planned. Kirk walks up to the happy bride and groom, carrying a Bible. Thanks again for officiating our wedding, Kirk. It's pretty cool that you're literally the most successful pastor in the world now. No problem, my man. God bless and stuff. Kirk turns around and trips over their tablecloth and falls and breaks his arm. <laughs> my arm, my lungs. Kirk passes out on the crown. Luke and Lorelai laugh at the misfortune of those weaker than them. <laughs> they kiss passionately and some real sweet ass music plays. I can get used to this. <laughs> Rory comes up to the table. Hey, Mom, congrats on getting married. Turns out being a single independent woman isn't all it's cracked up to be. Thanks, kid. We're pretty great. And hilarious. Very hilarious. Mom, I've got four words for you. Four precious words that I know you've been dying to hear. Four final words I will say at the end of a long wedding to close out this chapter of our lives. Four important words that will forever live on in the annals of history as the greatest four words said it ever. What's that, kid? What? Kirk burst through the door suddenly. <laughs> Help! I'm dying now! Lorelai laughs with Rory and Luke. The townspeople gather and hug as the camera pans back and flies over Stars Hollow. Those crazy kids might just make it after all. <laughs> the end! The end! <laughs> Guys, give it up again for Wayne Wilcox! Thank you very much. Wow. This is fun. Oh my this is exciting. God. <laughs> I didn't want to take this poll at the beginning not to tip our hands, but who in this crowd would say they are Team Marty? Ah. Everybody. I, I like Team Everybody. Marty. I'm amazed. Can I just say, I'm really amazed at how like on top of all of this shit you guys are. Like, <laughs> You are such loyal fans. Indeed you know they are. everything. It's incredible. It's very cool. <laughs> it's, it's super cool. Very cool. If you keep going, they're not going to believe you. <laughs> no, I mean it. <laughs> well, we don't just have one script here tonight, guys. Uh, yeah. We have two, because Demi actually has some exciting news he wants to announce, but keep it on the hush-hush. So this is, this is real. Uh, we got to talk to Amy Sherman Palladino. No bit zone. We got to talk to Amy Sherman Palladino in Austin, Texas, and she told us that one of the things she's writing for Amazon is Gilmore Girls based, and it's kind of, she described it as a reboot. Like a legit reboot. Yes, so we might so, be hearing news about this. So here's, here's the current cast, right? And here's the cast that she told me she wants to have. <laughs> now this is, <laughs> this is true, all right? This is 100% true. That is not true. That is yes, not true. it is. It's totally true. Wayne, we have the Wayne. scripts right here, Listen. and we're going oh, to yeah, read yeah. them. These are watermarked. It's These are very confidential. Very no one official. Tweet or Instagram this because this is some. She'll just deny it if you ask her. So, because it's secret, is why. So, okay. we're going to go ahead and read a scene, which you might know from the pilot Gilmore Girls 2016, pilot written by Demi uh, did you and know? Amy Sherman Palladino. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, you're right. I didn't yes. see it. It's an invisible. Whoops. <laughs> Interior, high school hallway. Noon. The bell rings at school and the kids quickly file out of their classes. The once peaceful hallway is now filled with a cacophony of shoes slamming up and down the floor. Lockers opening and shutting like a terrible production of Stomp. Oh God, I gotta get to class, I gotta get to class. <laughs> Walking slowly down the hallway, Rory enters frame. She's meek, time, tiny, and unassuming, but smart. You can tell she's a nerd because she's wearing glasses, even though she's super hot otherwise. Rory walks down the hallway steps, adjusting her glasses every two seconds. At the bottom of the steps, she bumps into Paris. Her books go flying across the floor. Learn to walk, Hannah Montana, left over right. S Sorry, Paris, I didn't see you. I was too busy staring into the all new Lord of the Rings edition, Angry Birds on my iPhone 7. <laughs> Maybe next time, focus less on the one ring and more on the two feet. <laughs> Paris shuffles off into the hallway. <laughs> As Rory bends Poor down Paris. to pick up her books, she looks, she looks back at Paris and smiles, and a very non-subtle White Stripe song plays. I can tell that we are gonna be friends. As she turns back her books, another hand reaches into the frame. She looks up in Locke's eyes with Dean Forrester. 
A tall, brown-haired boy wearing all of the outfits from the Matrix at once. <laughs> oh, hi. Hey. They both stand up, hands on her books still. Thanks for helping me pick those up. That was very swag of you. Now, keep in mind, they have to update this for today's audience. So. Yeah, so some of these are gonna be a little different. Oh, no problem. I love helping out. It's what my hero Neo from The Matrix would do. I love The Matrix. Yeah, The Matrix is bae. It's so cool how you like old things like that. Looking down, Rory sees the only book she forgot to pick up. John Green's The Fault in Our Stars. Oh, The Fault in Our Stars. Sick. I love John Green. No way. You like John Green, too? Of course I do. I am, after all, a teenager in America. <laughs> Dean stares at Rory lovingly. Rory returns the look, but then her face slowly falls blank. Anyway, I have to go. I can't be late for my advanced memes class. <laughs> Who's your teacher? Professor ASAP Rocky. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love that guy. Yeah, he's really on fleek. Roy turns to walk away, but Dean stops her. Hey, uh, is there, this is crazy, but is there any chance you'd be interested in getting coffee sometime? I love coffee. It's literally the only thing I've ever drank. That's super unhealthy, but I'm into it. So what do you say? Maybe on Friday? Just as Roy's about to answer, all of time stands still. The front doors to the school blow open and the entire hallway turns back and stares in amazement. Oh, shit. It's Marty. The coolest guy in all of Connecticut. Here in Stars Hollow. No one can believe their eyes. He slides through the hallway wearing sunglasses on one of those floor segways without handles that you see rich people with. He stops next to Rory and Dean. Hey, I'm Marty. He flips his hair wildly and a cloud of womanly sighs echo down the hallway. <laughs> What's your name? Me? Uh, I'm Lorelai. I mean, uh, Roro. Uh, I mean, Rory. <laughs> My name's Rory. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm such a dork. You're funny, Roro. And cute. <laughs> Screams of anguish echo down the hallway from the same women that just sighed at Marty's name. Do you like coffee? I just asked her that. Beat it, Neo. The name's Dean. Yeah, whatever, Dean. <laughs> yeah, I love coffee. Oh, word. We should drink some sometime. I'd like that. Sick. Marty tosses a card with his number on it towards Rory. It lands squarely in the pocket of her jacket. Marty begins to slide away, turning back to Rory. Catch you on the flip side, Roro. See you around, Don. It's Dean. I don't care. As he slides off, he bumps into Chilton's resident bad boy, Tristan. Getting bumped, Tristan falls, and his face lands squarely on an inexplicable patch of mud that happens to be on the floor. Inside, Marty slides off into the sun. Okay. And then, of course, at the end, this is when the new theme song plays. The, the hip new theme song. Listen, and wait for it. And so cold. Oi, with the poodles already. <laughs> Kids love jump step now with teams. It's so relevant in 2016. It still goes going. on for it's a still while. Going. Wow. <laughs> Why is it this long? Dubstep, man. <laughs> oh right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Dubstep does not end. That's gotcha. the that's the draw. I just feel like we'll all have short attention spans by then and we'll, we'll be able to like listen to the whole thing. Then they'll speed it up by four times. Yeah, nice. Let's hear that again. Just kidding. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> that I wanna was... I wanna thank both of you for making Marty like super 
hot and cool. And we didn't have to do that. That's how awesome. it was. I mean, that's yeah. the character sure. as I always perceived. Sure was, dudes. <laughs> it was amazing. Come on now. Not a nerd at all. <laughs> Totally with it, man. I know. I was debating putting my scripts on, like, "Hey, Roy, you gonna want you want to go make some duck soup with me?" But then <laughs> I decided against that. I thought it'd be off color. It might alienate some of our fan base. So Maybe. I decided. Yeah. I, I don't know. I appreciated it. Thank you. You're welcome. So that was the pilot of the Gilmore Girls reboot. That's gonna be on Amazon Prime for sure. Yep. Confirmed. August 6, 2016. Uh, June 3rd, 2016. <laughs> It's just been moved up by two months as we talk. <laughs> yeah, well, I just got a text. So, guys, yeah, listen. Don't tweet this. Don't gram it. Don't tell anyone you saw what really? you saw tonight. As far as everyone oh, knows, oh, you oh, went this. for a yeah, walk for Yeah, because this is a super secret script. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Don't tell them that Marty's going to be the star. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Marty's going to be just the star. Just put that in the air. Just like send that. <laughs> just let that be. Wayne, thank you so much for joining us yes, on the show tonight. What a blast to have you. Thank all of you for being awesome with me. I appreciate that. Now, we've been talking with Wayne for a couple months. It just hasn't worked out because of scheduling and working and being on different You live in L.A. I live in New York. Yeah, it's a classic long-distance romance gone wrong. It's God. Ro- misconnections. How do we find the time? I don't know. <laughs> can, I, can I tell you something for real? No, yeah. Pizza? Is someone posted a misconnection on Craigslist for our Gilmore Guys show on Monday? Yes. <laughs> someone said, I met you in line. You complimented my sweatshirt. And then you went in and I lost track or something. Like, I'm not making fun of the, whoever oh, the person is. If you're here, on. what? That's amazing. Yeah, yeah no, no we're not making fun great. of them. No, 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 I didn't think you were. I, just, yeah. I think that's. If wonderful. you're here, we hope you find love. I it, hope someone... it was me. It was me. <laughs> it was, it was Wait, way. you were at our show and you didn't say anything? Stop. Dude. Oh, dude. Now, I hope someone gets married because of this podcast. Like someone, like maybe two, pe- two single people in here tonight. They go outside. Please don't do this now that I'm saying it. But they go outside like, hey, that was an amazing, that was like the best show I've ever seen. Yeah, I know, right? And then like they start talking. They get a coffee. They One hear thing Maroon leads 5. to another. Yeah, they <laughs> listen they to some Maroon 5. 5. They find oh, the gazebo. Man. Oh, yeah. Wow, here in New York, right across from the UCB wow. Theater. Wow. <laughs> Oh, that reminds me, we have posters on sale after the show tonight, guys. Some limited edition, exclusive New York City posters. Please buy one. I don't want to bring them back with me on the plane. (laughs) But it's super easy. We'll have a table set up at the door at the end of the thing. But Wayne, I want to talk to you about your time on the show and that whole process. How did did you even come to be in the show? What was the auditioning like? Did you read with Mara and Jamie? No, okay. I didn't audition for the show. I actually served the I served Amy and Dan breakfast at a restaurant that I was working at. Um, yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, I have no, I don't know what I did or whatever. But they looked at me and they said, "Oh, you have a nice look." And I was like, eh, "Thanks." It's seven o'clock in the morning, and I gave them um, my agent's information. And then they told me that they wrote for the Gilmore Girls, and I like. All I really remember is like perking right up, like being like, oh, well, I'm an actor, so that's really cool, thank you very much, and I've been in for this, and this is what I've done, and this is my whole resume. And they were looking at me like, yeah, all we said was that you have a nice look, so just (laughs) calm down, it's seven o'clock in the morning. Um, But I gave them my agent's information, and they actually got back, and they put me on tape. Um, I read a few Dean scenes, I think. As Dean? No. Or as... Marty. They didn't. They that. What I'm saying is, they didn't write Marty yet. So oh, they okay, like. Gotcha. They didn't really know what they wanted to do with me mm-hmm. at all. Um, they just knew that they thought I had a good look. And then they wrote that the first scene that I was in. They, they wrote the character Marty based on like my read and everything, and based on that breakfast. And um, uh, it was only supposed to be one episode. Wow. Yeah, uh, it was that naked guy episode. That the emphasis I naked cannot guy. live down. And if and if I, any of you had seen the costume fittings for like that particular scene, it would have blown your minds. <laughs> like I'm not kidding. There were things they were like, so we have this thing that you might be able to try on, and I'm like, <sighs> you're saying the costume fittings for the naked scene where you're discovered yeah. in the hallway. Yeah. So you're just talking about like the cloth fitting scenes essentially, or yeah. like the sock fitting scenes. Yeah. Wow. Oh, man. Yeah. Okay. There were different variations on a theme as far as that goes. <laughs> just 
just so you know. See, and this is the tragedy that the show wasn't on HBO or Showtime. Oh, yeah, man. Because we could have gotten some naked guy on that network. Let okay, me tell say, you. I remember there, I remember there was, um, you know, they do studio tours and like yeah. back lots and whatever. So there was this, uh, my dresser gave me a pair of boxer shorts and a robe. And I walked from my trailer to the set. And I'm like, already, like, the camera's about to go. And they're like, wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on, hold on, hold on. And then we look over, and there's this golf cart full of, like, Gilmore Girls fans with Starbucks coffees, like, ooh, ooh, like, just looking at the whole, looking at everything going on or whatever. And they look at me, and I'm like, sh sh should I take this off? What, 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 what should I do? And the director goes, no, 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 wait, we gotta wait till the studio tour leaves. And I was like, thank you, thank you. Wow. Yeah. Was that, like, day one? Yeah, that was day one. That they was shot, day one. Yeah, yeah. On they Gilmore shot Girls. the naked guy stuff the first day so that I wouldn't be like too nervous to shoot the rest of the stuff. Oh my gosh. Um, well, yeah, that's a that's an easy bar to, to <laughs> jump over once you've set I it mean, there. I <laughs> mean, if you're gonna do it, like you might as well go big or go home. That's what I always say. Go big or go home. Interesting I choice did. of words. You know, I wondered, I often wonder why <laughs> they cast me. And <laughs> <laughs> you this have is, a nice. This is getting look. very blue right now. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what this she wasn't show staring is. at my face when she's like, no. <laughs> oh, oh, no, that's this terrible. This just turned into Showtime at the Apollo. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was only supposed to be one episode, um, and then they liked me, and they liked, um, I think they liked what me and Alexis sort of like did or had or worked on together. I tell you what, as a young guy watching the show when it was first on, because season four was the first season I watched while it was originally airing. Oh, really? And the guy yeah. I resonated with the most was Marty, because <gasps> I was like, I'm the Marty in my own life. And I think, <laughs> like, I, like, I projected your character onto, like, I'm the ugly naked guy of my middle school, or whatever it was. And, I mean, that's true. That's 100% true. Oh, I remember you posting weren't. in. Television without pity forms like, oh, I'm Marty. <laughs> and they were just all like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I bet or they had all watched it too and they were all like, yeah, you're the Marty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I bet there's a lot of guys that, that uh, would identify and resonate with Marty. I think so. Sure. The classic nice guy that can't get Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just like to have fun. I mean, I was like, it was really fun to be, they were, it was a great set. Like, they, everybody was uh, super nice to me, but. You know, there were moments where it was 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the morning, and we were getting a little punchy, and the acting kind of goes out the window or whatever, and we all start <laughs> laughing as soon as the cameras are off. And then when the cameras turn back on, like, you're sitting at a table, like, I'm just being me, and then all of a sudden you turn the cameras on, and I have to be Marty, and I go, hmm. <laughs> 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 oh, I'm just, oh, you know, it's okay, I'm just Marty. Oh, oh a little droopy, dog. Oh. <laughs> there was an extra, there was an extra once who he looked at me, and he's like, yeah, man, it's amazing how you can just do that. Like, you're just so you, and then all of a sudden you're, oh. <laughs> you were the Daniel Day Lewis of the that's Gilmore right, Girls. That's, right. <laughs> <laughs> that's, right. that's how I like to think of you. Well, we only have a little bit more time, and honestly, we could talk to you forever about oh, this show, sure. and I'm sure we will sometime in the future. But we will take just a few questions, make them good, yeah. don't make them weird. Um, <laughs> Ask me stuff. So, anyone, anyone in the audience have a question? It's a question over we here. We have one over here. I don't know if I can get to you. Believe in yourself. Step down. Step down. Two part question, and I know we don't talk about season seven, so. But what sure. was it like to be asked back, and why did Marty make Rory lie? Oh, that's a good question. I think all that I think that all has to do with the fact that we don't talk about season seven. Do you know what I mean? Like I know why you said that. I know that there was season seven is Voldemort. I just yeah. realized <laughs> the season that must not be named. Yeah. I mean, I, I can, I, the only, I don't know the answer to that really, because, you know, I didn't write it, but I know that when I came back, I was super thrilled as everything to be asked back because I was like, I don't have a job, please hire me. Um, and they were super thrilled. They were like, we got to have Marty back, we got to have Marty back. I was like, okay, yeah, yeah, fine, put me on a contract. Um, but they, they wrote these, like, season seven, they wrote these scripts that were like, we're sitting there on the set and we're going, well, it says here that if I have, I have to go through that door, but if you had watched the last six seasons, you would know that if I went through that door, it didn't lead to where this script <laughs> says it is. So, Like, literally, the direction was wrong. <laughs> no, right, the, but, they were, wow. but, you know, and they didn't, they didn't really pick up on that kind of stuff. So I think probably to answer your question is they didn't really pay that much attention to, like, Marty, and 
if, the, if somebody had raised their hand in the writing room and said, Marty would never say that or whatever, then they would have like, you know, tipped up to it. But by the time that we got to filming it, it was too late that the lines were the lines and it was like, it was what it was. But I think, I mean, I, if, you, if you ask me, I think that's the answer. Like they just didn't really pay attention, so. It's endemic of a larger issue. By the way, I just realized sure. this has been <laughs> up right. for a long time. <laughs> And I'm going to change it. This. Don't no. leak this real photo. Right. <laughs> no. Ariana Grande. I mean, Rory. I mean, our, our branding is going to be all off. Uh, we'll, we'll, yeah. take, we'll take one more question before we go. Does anyone over here have a question or anybody? I think I scared everyone by saying, don't make your question suck. Yeah. I didn't mean no, to. ask the sucky question. Nope. Yeah, someone ask right a there. sucky question. Yeah, we got one back here. What would be your ideal storyline for Marty? I think we just uh, did him. Yeah. <laughs> totally. Well, he's cool. Um, I, 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 that's a good question. I don't know. I just, I always felt like what they did well was set up this eventuality between Marty and Rory because they were, they were so easy with each other from like the very beginning. Right? Like, do you all got that? They were super comfortable they had a great with each chemistry. other. Yeah, really beautiful chemistry. Um, and, uh, and I remember, I mean, I was young. I, I'm still young. And I remember saying to Amy, I was like, Amy, look, I have so many ideas for Marty. And, like, he could be this, like, really nerdy guy that all of a sudden, like, finds love in, in, in college. And they can, they can make beautiful children together and all that. Like, all, I had to hold these out, whatever, whatever. And she was like, oh, thanks, that's fine. I'll take it into consideration. You're just an actor. Um, but I always saw, I mean, I always saw the two of them getting together, like, eventually in the end. Because, you know, because you know the way the whole, like, Logan thing worked out. It, like, it, it was, it would have been nice if Marty had actually gotten one of the things that he wanted, you know, which was Rory. I mean, really, oh, man. Yes. Well, that's the that's that's what it was. That that was literally what it was. I also wonder, like, I was I looked at Amy and Dan one day, and I was like, so why did you cast me? And they were like, oh, you just you looked so sad. <laughs> <laughs> that's the look they liked. It's true. They were like, <laughs> bring us that 7 a.m. tired charm every day. Well, yeah, truly. <laughs> but I was also like, I mean, I remember I was I was a waiter, and I was like, my life sucks. I'm never going to act again. I'm never going to whatever, whatever. And I certainly didn't think I was going to be on television. And then they were like, you have a good look. And I was like, oh, that's not <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Just, well, <laughs> just actor problems. Hashtag actor problems, baby. That's uh, right. Can we have one more? Sure, one more. Gilmore Girls being on Netflix like affected you being recognized more or like any uh, of that? Yeah, actually, um, it's I I love it because like there's this whole new wave of people that watch it. I just got back from Chicago. I was doing a musical, um, a new musical at Chicago Shakespeare Theater that uh, went, really, went really well. But like two or three nights a week, there was there were just groups of Gilmore Girls fans, <laughs> and. There was, the, it was weird, but you walk out of the stage door at the theater and then there's a pub right next to it where like the actors would go and get a drink and talk to some of the patrons or whatever. But two or three nights a week, there were this like group of people so jazzed about the Gilmore Girls. And they, like, I was walking out of the stage door and they were like, hey, so we actually bought a ticket because you're in the show and we wanted to talk to you about the Gilmore Girls. And I was like, that's so sweet. And then they just kind of corner me and like move me over. Like, <laughs> into the pub so they'd be like hey uh, so. and they're like oh my god so um i watch you every night on netflix <laughs> and i'm like thank god for netflix <laughs> <laughs> oh man well guys give it up for wayne wilcox once again thank you very much we've reached the thank end you. of our show and of course we all know what that means guys we want to thank the ucb Paladino, Daniel Paladino. Uh, every single writer who's ever worked on the show, we want to thank Alexis Liddell. Thank you for Graham. everyone who came out to the New York show. Yes, we want to thank uh, Matt Besser, Ian Roberts, Matt Walsh, Amy hey, Poehler, Poehler, the UCB Four. They could not make it tonight. Uh, Hoopa Hoopa Steak. Steak. Big shout out to Big Star shout out to our musical Hoopa guest, Hoopa Steak. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah.
so close. Oh no, drop the cross stitch. All you have to do is call my name and I'll be there on the next train where you lead. I will follow any anywhere that you tell me to. If you need, you need me to be with you. I will. Bye. Have a good night.